Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. By the end of the video, you're going to know which student bank account you should open in 2023. And I'm also going to be revealing a top tip how you can get the most value out of student bank account providers. Let's get into it. When deciding which student account is best for us, it's wise to take three factors into consideration when making our decision. The first one is the size of the interest-free overdraft that is given by providers. This is actually significantly different based upon which bank or building society you choose to open an account with. The second thing is the timeline of the overdraft. Many bank accounts and building society accounts do not offer the full interest-free overdraft within the first year or even the second year, for example. And therefore, it's important to take into account the timeline of the overdraft. And the third thing is any other incentives that are offered with each of the accounts you choose. So, the first thing we'll compare is the maximum overdraft. We're going to look at 10 providers, which you can see here listed down the left-hand side. And we'll start off with some of the lowest overdraft maximums. TSB has a £1,500 overdraft maximum, and there's quite a high likelihood of receiving that maximum overdraft. There are some student accounts whereby even though the overdraft maximum may be significant, the likelihood of actually receiving that maximum is actually lower. Barclays, for example, once again, the overdraft maximum is quite low in comparison to some of the others on this list at £1,500, and the likelihood of receiving that maximum overdraft, well, research has shown it's actually lower than in the case of TSB. Halifax, also 1,500 overdraft, but the likelihood of receiving that overdraft maximum is significantly low. Cooperative offer £2,000 overdraft maximum and the likelihood of receiving that maximum is actually quite high which is good. However it's important to note that to access this overdraft students must pay in £300 within 28 days of account opening. That said it shouldn't be too difficult for a student to pay in that figure if they get a maintenance loan for example. Santander also offered £2,000 maximum overdraft and once again the likelihood of receiving this overdraft is high. In fact Santander say it is guaranteed. However to access the overdraft students must pay in £500 per term. Once again should be fairly straightforward for students with their maintenance loan. Lloyds offer £2,000 as well, and once again, the likelihood of receiving that maximum overdraft research has shown that it's quite high. NatWest also offer £2,000 with a quite high likelihood of receiving the maximum overdraft. £2,000 for RBS, once again, quite high likelihood of receiving that maximum overdraft. However, for RBS, you have to pay in £750 every six months in order to access the overdraft. Once again, shouldn't be too much of a problem for university students with a maintenance loan. Nationwide and HSBC will see offer the highest overdraft maximum. Nationwide, £3,000 with a high likelihood of receiving that maximum overdraft. However, of course, to access overdraft, uh, nationwide, students must pay in £500 per term. It's a small stipulation, but shouldn't be a problem for university students with a maintenance loan. And HSBC also offer an overdraft maximum of £3,000. However, it's important to note that the likelihood of receiving that maximum overdraft, research has shown that it's only medium, so less so than a nationwide overdraft. Looking at it from comparison purposes, you can see here, nice and straightforward, the red represents a low likelihood of receiving the entire maximum overdraft amount, amber a medium chance, whereas green is there there's a quite high or a high likelihood of receiving the overdraft amount. So for this comparison, we can see that there's a high likelihood of receiving £3,000 with the nationwide student account, whereas at the other end of the scale, there's a very low likelihood of receiving the full £1,500 with Halifax. Moving on to the timeline of the overdraft then, this is when you're actually able to access the maximum amount of your overdraft. We can see the 10 providers down the left hand side and many of them you cannot actually access the maximum amount of the overdraft within your first year of study. 
NatWest and RBS, of course, are the exception. However, both of these providers have a staggered first year overdraft whereby they only offer £500 in the first term. So NatWest and RBS really good, some might say, for budgeting within the first term so that students aren't tempted to blow their whole overdraft within the first year. You can only access up to £500 within the first term. For the year one TSB and Lloyds, it's also the same, £500 for the first six months in their case, £1,000 in months seven to nine, and £1,500 beyond that. We can see that in the case of Nationwide and HSBC, these are the providers which offer the highest overall interest-free overdraft for a student account. In year one, students can actually only access up to £1,000 overdraft, followed in year two by 2000 and then only within year three can students access the full interest-free overdraft for Nationwide and HSBC. So looking at it in a graph style then, for TSB, the maximum amount we can borrow in terms of an interest-free overdraft is £1,500. However, we can access that in the first year straight away. So first year straight away with TSB, £1,500, but that will not increase over the three, four or five years of your study. For Barclays, you can only access £1,000. This rises to £1,500 in year two and then stays at £1,500 limit even if you study for up to five years. For Halifax, similar to TSB, you can access the full amount of £1,500 within the first year and this amount doesn't increase over the five years. For the cooperative, it's slightly different. They allow students to access up to £1,400 in their first year, interest-free overdraft, £1,700 in their second year, and then this rises to a maximum of £2,000 in year three, which stays the same should students stay on for year four and five. Santander allow students to borrow up to £1,500 through way of overdraft in the first year. This stays the same for the second and the third, and only rises to £1,800 in the fourth and £2,000 in the fifth year, should a student stay on at university for that long. Lloyd's student account holders can access £1,500 within the first three years in terms of their interest-free overdraft. This rises to £2,000 in years four and five, so certain courses will of course stay on for years four and five. NatWest is one of those accounts whereby students can open it and access the full overdraft amount straight away. In that West case, it's 2000. That will remain at 2000 for the entirety of the student's study. RBS is similar, it's 2000 maximum, and you can access that from year one. Nationwide, as we mentioned earlier, Nationwide students, uh, student account holders can only access up to £1,000 interest free overdraft within year one, 2000 within year two, and then 3000 from year three onwards. So some might say that it's a good way to budget, that the fact that you're only able to access a smaller overdraft in comparison to competing providers within year one, and then it increases over the next couple of years. Similar for HSBC, year one, 1,000, year two, 2,000, year three onwards, 3,000. But once again, HSBC, the likelihood of receiving that full overdraft amount is lower than it would be at Nationwide. So what other incentives to these building societies or banks offer. For many students opening up student accounts, this might play a large part in their decision. TSB offer 5% interest on balances up to £500. Should a student open an account with TSB and keep £500 in their account, this will equate to a benefit of £25 a year. Looking at Barclays, Barclays are slightly different in they offer a 12-month subscription to a service called Perlego. 
It's an online book library and it's worth £96. So this could be really beneficial for textbooks, those sorts of things from the online book library as you are starting your university course. Halifax offer up to 15% cashback and they offer that cashback at places like Costa, Harvey Nichols, Just Eat and Sainsbury's. When weighing up whether that is the right account for you, it might be worth considering whether you spend a lot of money at these sorts of outlets, whether it be Costa, Harvey Nicks, Just Eat or Sainsbury's. If so, it might be worth considering how much cashback you are likely to earn in the long run. Cooperative Bank do not offer any specific incentives alongside their interest-free overdraft. However, many are drawn to Cooperative Bank for its ethical values. Santander offer a four-year 16 to 25 rail card. Now the 16 to 25 rail card gives student account holders the possibility of saving up to a third on rail fares up and down the country. And therefore if a student's going to a university some distance away from their home and is likely therefore to use the rail network significantly, it might be a wise idea to go with Santander because in the long run the rail card will save you a lot of money if you go home regularly for example. Lloyds Bank offer up to 15% cashback at Co-op, Costa, Hilton and Sky. So once again, similar to Halifax, people who are considering opening up a student account with Lloyds may wish to consider whether they spend a lot of money at Co-op, Costa, Hilton or indeed Sky. If you do, it may be worth considering Lloyds for that reason. NatWest. Now NatWest offer £80 cash up front to students. They also provide a four-year taste card, which is worth around £140. The taste card offers various deals when eating out. RBS offer exactly the same thing, so £80 cash up front as well as a four-year taste card worth around £140. That could be particularly Useful, of course, having cash up front, but also if you intend to eat out a, a lot at university, then a four-year taste card will be very beneficial. This is especially um, attractive if you're not at catered halls of residence, for example. Nationwide, on the other hand, offer, along with HSBC, the biggest cash benefit or bonus. £100 cash is paid into your account within 14 days of depositing in £500 plus. So you're likely to be depositing £500 plus if you have opted to put your maintenance loan into your student account. So the £100 cash will be paid two weeks later directly into your account. And as I said, HSBC offer a similar incentive of a £100 cash bonus, which is paid after 30 days. So both Nationwide and HSBC offer the largest upfront cash bonus, which during Freshers' Week, if you're starting university, it can be a very attractive proposition. So, how do I decide? How do you decide which student bank account to open? Well, banks are very eager to attract customers, and I would advise that potentially you consider benefits of short-term versus long-term incentives. For certain banks who are up offer upfront cash, once that cash is spent, that specific incentive is gone, whereas banks like Santander offering the rail card will last for four years, and that will be a long-term incentive, which may be of a greater value in the long run than a or even £100 up front in cash bonuses. You also may wish to consider which is most important, the incentive or the large overdraft. Many of these banks offer very attractive incentives, but if having a larger overdraft is more important to you, then the overdraft, of course, may trump the incentive offered. It's also important to note that many overdrafts offered within the 10 providers that we've been looking at 
are classed as up to overdrafts, which essentially means that students may not be offered the full amount. Being given the full amount really depends on an individual's credit rating and how they've used their account since its opening. If a student has a really good credit rating, of course, they're more likely to be given the full overdraft. I would say that the Santander overdraft is automatically applied. So that is the one um, anomaly amongst these 10 accounts. The Santander overdraft is applied automatically each year you stay on in further education. So which student account is best then out of the 10 that we've looked at? Well, if you want the largest overdraft in your first year, it's got to be either NatWest or RBS. Those organisations provide the largest overdraft in the first year of study. What if I want the largest overdraft by year three? Well, Nationwide and HSBC offer the largest overdraft, so £3,000 by year three. However, with Nationwide, research shows that there's a higher likelihood of account holders being able to access that full £3,000 overdraft. What if I'm going to travel on the train a lot? Potentially I live a long way away from home or I just wish to visit friends across the country. Well, it's got to be Santander in that case because of course they offer the four year 16 to 25 rail card with their account. But what if I want upfront cash rewards? Well, Nationwide, once again, would be potentially the best in that case. They offer the reward within 14 days of paying in £500, whereas HSBC, who also offer £100, only pay it in after 30 days. What if I'm a really big shopper and I'm attracted by cash back? Well, Lloyds Bank may potentially be the best option for you. They offer cash back at a number of different outlets, but they also offer bigger overdraft than other accounts which also offer cash back, Halifax in this case. So what if you can't choose? We looked at 10 different student accounts. What if you can't choose? Well, pro tip. You can switch providers and get multiple benefits. There's nothing to say that once you've opened up a particular student account, you can't switch that student account to another provider. In fact, the current account switch service means that banks are actually responsible for transferring everything over for you in just seven days. So yes, there's a bit of an inconvenience of switching, but consider this. If you open up an account with Santander, for example, you can benefit from getting the four-year, 16 to 25-year rail card. And then you can switch to another account and get their benefit as well. They're not going to take the rail card off you, and therefore you've benefited from multiple incentives. In fact, if you want the rail card and then, for example, the highest overdraft, you can get the rail card by opening up with Santander first, and then switch to either HSBC or Nationwide in order to benefit from the larger overdraft within year three. Thanks ever so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for future related videos.